Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Panini Immaculate Baseball. This is 2021, right? Yeah, 2021 Immaculate Baseball. Two box, pick your team, 22, sold out straight up. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. On Sunday the 11th, thanks everybody. Daniel with double last spot mojo, got the Angels and Yankees. Couple big teams off the board right here. And if you bought an even number of teams, you got a chance at break credit, giving away $500 of break credit. Is this winner take all? Yeah, winner take all. All right, so we've got three sets of two right here. We're gonna roll the die. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. It's off camera. There it is, it's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna do this stack of two right over here. This, these two will save for some other time. Maybe tonight, if we, if we hustle after it. I think Jordan could have been a great baseball player if he never played basketball. It's a good question. I would... I don't know. Baseball's really hard. Not that basketball is easy, but... but I think he, he... I mean, obviously, he has the mentality for baseball. His mental strength is what... Got him from good to great and great to legendary. I don't know if he would have changed the game of baseball, but I, th I think he would have been, I mean, clearly he was a better basketball player, which is why he went that route. But I would think that he would have been, you know, better than average if he played. Where's my little card to hide the other cards? Gone, disappeared. All right, we'll just use this blank card right here. And away we go. Here is Joey Votto, piece of the jersey. 40 out of 49. Top loaders. Alex Rodriguez, 46 out of 99. Piece of the jersey. I think a better question is uh, Bo Jackson. If he had focused 100% on baseball instead of football, he might have been a Hall of Famer. This uh, Daniel with the Yankees gets the A Rod relic. There's Jazz Chisholm, speaking of the Yankees. This is uh, Marlins edition, three color patch and autograph. That's an RPA, Jazz Chisholm. That's Ken with the Marlins. He's hitting very well with the Yankees currently. Since going over there, change of scenery, doing well. Here is Andy Young, nine out of 14. Nice patch, nice auto, Paul with the Diamondbacks. If we'll ever see a two-sport player. I don't know. Probably not. I feel like, I feel like everything's so specialized these days. Here is Kyle Tucker, six out of 10. Once you start exhibiting some sort of talent in baseball, then it's, and it's baseball, 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 baseball camps, baseball year-round, baseball, baseball, baseball. Same with the other sports, too. Uh, Alejandro with the Astros. And Joey Bart. Rookie patch and autograph. 32 out of 49. Did not, not really succeed for the Giants, but he's with the Pirates now, and he's doing okay. Kevin has the Giants. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, that too, Rex. Like, yeah, teams are going to be like, we don't want you getting hurt in the other sport. So, so I think that's the other reason too. You know, I think most coaches and agents and executives will be like, you know, you're most likely not going to get a big contract. I mean, that's what you'd have to sacrifice money if there was really a player that wanted to do that. And with the way the seasons line up, could really only be baseball and football. But yeah, if a, if someone really wanted to do that, I think they'd, they'd, ha they'd sacrifice, especially with players from both sports, how much they get paid these days. They would just have to be willing to not be willing to not make as much money. Here is Leody Tavares, jumbo jerseys, 39 out of 49. I mean, with players getting paid these days, there's already stuff in contracts like don't ride motorcycles, you can't go on ATV, don't go horseback riding. <laughs> there's all these clauses now. Uh, Ken with the Rangers. Uh, 66 out of 99, that's Jim Rice. That'll be for Barry and Boston. Got a redemption. It's Kevin Biggio Shadow Box signatures. Unfortunately expired, but you can still probably... Get in touch with these guys, Terry and the Blue Jays. See if you can get something in return. Blue Jays edition. With a different blue team now. And there's Jared Oliva, 20 out of 25. That's a nice patch. Maybe the top of the pirate, I think. It's his uh, bandana that he has over his head, I think. That'll be for Paul and the Pirates. Oh, right. Not, not, not with the Dodgers anymore. There's one out of ten. Quad relic and autograph, Rax and Garrett. When did they release him? Ken with the fish. And the last one here, it's going to be Estevan Floreal, 10 out of 25 RPA for the Yankees. That's going to be for Daniel, last spot mojo. Thank you for your service, Kevin Biggio. All right, let's flip back over here. Let's give away some money. All right, so Aaron got two teams. That's an entry. Shane Singh just got back, but yeah, Bo Jackson, best two sore player. What do you want? Yeah, that guy was that guy was amazing. Alejandro got three teams for the purpose of the promo. Two count, that's one entry. Barry got two, that's an entry. Daniel got two, that's an entry. Ken got four, that's two entries. Kevin got two, that's an entry. Nico got two, that's an entry. Paul got six teams, that's three entries. Raymond got two, that's an entry. Terry got three. For the purpose of the promo, two count. That's an entry, and Walter got an entry. All right, so I got Aaron, Alejandro, Barry, Daniel, Ken with four. That's two entries. Kevin, Nico, and then Paul got six. That's three entries. Brandon, Terry, and Walter. Winner take all on the break credit. Good luck. New dice, new list. Let's roll it and randomize it. Three and a three, six the hard way. Fingers crossed, name on top after six gets the money. One, 
two, three, four, five, and six. It's Paul. Paul Kovacs. Congrats to you. After six, you've got $500 of break credit going your way. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with me, everybody. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break credit break. Bye-bye.